Hey guys, Bert here. So a couple days ago, I had someone reach out to me from the local campus and ask if they would be able to use or purchase my Halo 5 railgun for use in a live action video. I was more than excited to be able to help them out and give it to them. I didn't even charge it for them, charge them for it mainly because it was a learning prototype. And I really wanted to be able to, you know, help out these guys because I really like the work they're doing and hopefully they will post things after they're done with the class. It's a summer project that they're doing for an art contest. Anyway, that being said, I don't have a Halo 5 railgun anymore. Or should I say I didn't? I decided to go ahead and make another one. So this one is exactly the same as the last one. I use the exact same model. It's significantly lighter, took a hell of a lot less time to print. The other one took about two weeks solid of printing. This took about about a week, and that was me screwing around printing other stuff as well. Um, and this used less than a third the amount of filament that the other one did. The other one had like six rolls in it. This has just over two and a half, so that's really not bad, you know, especially when a roll of filament's only like 25 bucks. It's really cheap, and paint is dirt cheap anyway. But here's the new model. Now, what I did is I actually added some holes in the in the chassis here and the reason i did that was here i want to put a really light lithium polymer battery and then i'm going to add some electrical inner workings and a pressure plate down here in the handle so whenever you grab a hold of it and you squeeze the trigger there's going to be two laser sights they're going to light up going down the barrel so it's going to be sort of like what you would see in dead space when isaac's holding you know the plasma cutter and it's got the three leds i'm only gonna have two and they're gonna be red obviously not blue um, but yeah, that's just something, you know, goofy and quirky. I'm going to do with that. I'm probably going to liven this up and make it look a little bit war turn and weather weathered. Like, you know, it's gotten the crap kicked out of it. Uh, cause I really like that effect. Um, but I really like how this new one came out cause I didn't realize compared to the old one, this one weighs, you know, like I said, less than a third of what the other one does. And it still looks just as menacing though. And I didn't ever do a review of the original one, but Here's a review of the new one. So you've got the Halo 5 Railgun. And I mean, this thing is menacing. It is it is totally beast. It's big. It looks mean. And I would not want to be on the business end of this thing on under any circumstance if this thing was real. Um, and I really like it. The color scheme is exactly the same as the last one. It probably looks exactly like the last one because it is exactly like the last one. But... Um, you know, it took about a little, around a week to print, and it's um, it came out really well. I was just kind of throwing pieces on the printers while I wasn't, you know, working on other things. And, uh, you know, I'm really glad with the way this turned out. But nonetheless, the Halo 5 Railgun, 3D printed on a Robo 3D printer. I love this thing. It's badass. It's um, very strong because I'm actually using a slightly different filament. Um, but, I mean, it's got all the beautiful detail. I'll go ahead and give you guys a close-up here. It's got all the beautiful detail you would come to expect from it. And then when you get to the back of it here, that's when you get all the really, the really pretty intricate detail. And that is all layered. That's not, uh, that's just not like surface lines. That's actual detail. It's actual, there's actual tessellation if you want to get graphic, graphic with it. But I mean, it's just very pretty, very aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing. And it feels really badass to hold. I mean, you're just like, oh, wow, that's a really big, uh, it's a really big gun. And you see action poses people do with their Spartans holding this when they take it in the theater mode. But, I mean, just to be able to hold this thing, I mean, it's it's pretty badass. I like it. Definitely would be fitting a Spartan. I know the Halo 5 battle rifle is, like, really small, so it, it's kind of goofy when you see a Spartan holding a gun when you know it's really not that big. Um, but, nonetheless, I really like this thing. Um I may end up making another one, so who knows? I wanted to go around in a Halo costume and dual wield, you know, you know, rail guns. Why not? Um, I am working on making the Spartan laser and the saw. Not sure if I'm going to finish the Spartan laser, only because I'm not. I don't really like the gun. I think it's kind of dumb, personally. But you never know. Um, nonetheless, the Halo Five rail gun. It is just beast. Boom. Oh, and I did finally finish putting together. The Dendrobium, it is completed, it is sitting out in the living room. I think it took me about 16 hours. There's so much panel lining on that thing, it's unbelievable. It showed out, you know, really, really good though. It looks really nice. I'll probably put a video up here next week or two of, uh, of how it comes out once I'm done, you know, doing all the last little itty bits of detail because I'm very anal about how, how I put these things together. 
Um, right now, I am 3D printing the M96 Tempest. No. This is the Tempest from Mass Effect. I'm printing Mass Effect. Oh, the Maddock. The M96 Maddock. Uh, it's one of the uh, assault rifles from the game. I'm actually 3D printing that right now. Um, I had someone who I was uh, passing in the mall who actually watches the channel, which I was very happy to meet them. They said, hey, would you be able to make me a Rick and Morty portal gun? Yes, I can make you a portal gun. And actually, this thing was relatively simple to make and it only took me like three hours to print. Um, I'm working on a lot of the other really, you know, s similar kind of gun stuff. I'm going to start trying to make some of the smaller things. Uh, just because making really big stuff, it actually takes up a lot of space, and I'm running out of space. So, that being said, um, if you guys have any comments or questions or things you'd like to see 3D printed, please feel free to reach out to us. Do be sure to hit that favorite and like button, and don't be afraid to subscribe. We love seeing new people subscribe to our channel because it makes us feel, you know, all warm and gooey on the inside knowing that we're actually, you know, doing something cool that people actually like to see. Um, but, yeah, if you want to see something cool 3D printed, let us know. And until next time, I'm Bert. Boom!